We're now hearing from two families left cleaning up after a pair of tornadoes left behind a trail of damage more than 100 miles apart. News 4's Austin Brissett has more on the extent of the damage. Austin? Well, yeah, Kevin, that's right. Seminole and Cyril were two smaller Oklahoma towns that saw some damage. Myself and photographer George Weaver got a close look in Seminole last night, but the damage became more clear all over as the sun rose over the horizon. You don't even know where to start to try to clean all this up. After 40 years living in the southwestern Oklahoma town of Cyril for Monty Snyder and his wife, this is the first time they've been in the path of an Oklahoma tornado. But we didn't have any idea to the extent of the damage that we saw when we got here and we found out that it was way worse than we expected it to be. Powerful winds tossing his two level storage unit to the back of his home. His bedroom ceiling also caving in causing water damage all over his floor. His barn and storage unit were mangled with his family's valuable items destroyed. We'll just try to salvage what we can and throw away the rest of it. Luckily, they were in Enid with their kids and grandkids when it blew through. Just across from them, a mobile home completely flipped upside down. A hanging sink with shingles scattered everywhere. About 115 miles east in Seminole, a tree landing on the home of Randall Soul and his wife Monday night. There's a lot of big trees around here and that snapped them like toothpicks. Both of them hiding in a cellar, only to leave seeing the damage left behind and more of it when the sun rose. Just thankful everyone was okay. Well, all this other can be taken care of, you know, so be, can be replaced, that can't. So that's what I'm most thankful for. I've been through a lot of storms here and sheer, you know, high, high winds and what have you. And I've never seen damage like this, ever. Well, as of right now, the Cyril and Ripley tornadoes are rated an EF1, and we're told Seminole, Hydro, and Holdenville are still being determined.